with Jellia, you've you've you start out with this original idea, then you switch it up. Now you're back. Talk about that process of, you know, when you decide that that everything is, you know, maybe the way you're approaching it is wrong. I mean, how do you come to that conclusion? How difficult it is, is it to? And then you unpivoted. Yeah. You went back to your original idea. I'm pretty sure that's going to end up in a Silicon Valley episode because we made up the word unpivot just on purpose to actually get some attention. Um, yes. So we, the, what we did was we made a rookie mistake. Ben and I had great lives going. Ben was, Ben's company had been acquired by um, Twitter and he had like all this stock and all this stuff and he's a really great engineer and he had a great team at Twitter and he was doing really fun stuff and um, he would have made millions and millions of dollars and uh, and I was working with Ev, um, doing, well, it ended up becoming Medium, but before it became Medium, we were, uh, we were just experimenting on lots of things, and um, I was, I was, I, for a period of time, I was only in the office three days a week, so I could be home with my new son at the time, and I, direct, I wrote and directed a film with Ron Howard and Cannon, I was doing like, all these cool things, and then Ben and I came up with this idea that we just couldn't get out of our heads, and we were like, but then we ran up on all the smart people we know, and they were like, you should go for this, you should do it, and we were like, I just got sort of sick to my stomach, like, oh god, we're gonna do this all over again, and and I, and I might ruin Ben's life because like he could get all this money, and anyway, so we did it, and we were totally into it and super um, psyched and thought it was definitely gonna be a thing. And then we did a total rookie mistake, which I tell other people not to do all the time, um, which is we let ourselves be talked into, this isn't working, we should change. We should just build something completely different that people want. And um, so we did that. Even though at the same time, I was advising other companies, like, no, 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 you shouldn't build something. Like, focus on your main thing that you originally thought was a great idea and just make it better. And meanwhile, I wasn't doing that. So we, we pivoted away from Jelly, which was our original concept, which was, let's merge mobile and social and create a different kind of search engine. Um, and... Uh, Basically, it's a search engine where anyone can answer your question and yeah, it's get a, experts. It's different now than it was. The first Jelly depended on your social network. The new Jelly doesn't... It, asking questions is anonymous and it's we it's more tech centric um but all of the all of the computer science is just to get your question routed quickly to a person who knows the answer um so that they can answer of course it's like on demand answers so it may take a few minutes but you'll get an answer and you won't you wouldn't have had to look around for it anyway we we got talked into um switching, just pivoting into like a silly, we, we did notice on Jelly One that for every one question there was like 30 answers, so people loved answering, so we made this service that was like just answer an unasked question basically. <laughs> so we would start them off with things like the best, the worst, the craziest, the sexiest, and then they would just finish, a, finish that. And we made it really weird and wacky and wild and cool looking, um, unlike anything else. Uh, and then we found, Ben and I went into a room, the guy that had sort of convinced us to, to switch no longer worked at Jelly, Ben and I were in a room thinking about how we would shut down the Jelly service, because we never actually shut it down, which is telling. And then we came out of that room more pumped than ever to return to our original vision and, and try to make it work this time. And actually, something good came out of giving up on it for a while, uh, which was the perspective needed to completely redo it. Um, we could have kept at it, and we probably, and, and we, we, but we probably would have done these all these little tiny iterations that, that kept not working, um, and we wouldn't have taken such a huge step back and just been like, rip it all out, start over. So this gave us the perspective to, to, to see what was completely wrong about their whole approach entirely and reapproach it anew um, 
by saying, okay, what is the current media landscape, technology landscape? What would you do? How would you make search now, given such things like mobile phones are practically an appendage? Um, the new six degrees of separation is four. The um, rise of bots and uh, and Alexa. Yeah, and there's like a lot of Siri. Progression. Yeah, I mean, the, the the UI between people and computers is going to change, and um, we're already seeing it with things like Siri and Alexa and whatever the Microsoft one is called. Um, well, I'm going to ask you one more question, but I want everyone to, this is after this question, we'll take yours, so start thinking about what you want to ask. Um, so now you have this smaller company. How do you decide how to scale it? When do you know that the right. time is right to hire or? Some people just, they get a lot of money and they just hire a lot of people. And then they hope that those people have a lot of work to do. And that's, sometimes that works. Um, but what Ben and I, when we decided to start the company, we, we decided that in the, in the world of Amazon Web Services, you can have a small, you can have a company of tens um, with participants of tens of millions or more. So we decided we wanted to stay small. So we're eight people and five are engineers. But now we need way more people because we've, we've bitten up more than we can chew. When we, when we relaunched this product, we were just flooded with way more questions per minute. The, the problem with Jelly One Pointer was nobody was asking any questions. So we completely changed that. And now there was like, we were just being flooded with questions per minute. And it was You think because it's anonymous? Yeah, it's, it's totally anonymous. It's like, just like using Google. So ask or when, you know? And also, we got, we got a lot more press than we thought we were going to get. And we got um, featured by Apple. So we were just getting flooded. And a lot of the questions were kind of like kick the tires type questions. Like, why is the sky blue? Just because people wanted to see what it did. Um, so we kind of had to scramble to create systems to take care of those types of questions and not route um, test-like questions to people who indicated that they'd be interested in X, Y, and Z type right. of questions. Um, so the way we decide to scale is um, we now have several jobs that we could fill that we would that would take up a lot of work. So that's how we're deciding to do it. But that has its drawbacks too because then you know, all of a sudden you're kind of behind all the time because because we right now we need to hire like five engineers. But we don't have time to interview any engineers because we have to constantly work. So what should we do? You know what I mean? Like should, right. should we spend should each engineer spend an hour every day interviewing someone or should they build something that's gonna make the service better? So it's kind of like we're stuck. Until, until we can really get running ahead of the game, we can't really interview, interview anyone properly. Because like I said before, you really got to hire the right people. So maybe, I mean, when Ev built Medium, he hired a whole bunch of people. But for a while there, there were people that were like, kind of like, I don't know Hanging what to do. I guess I'll just build something on my own or whatever. And that, uh, that was a problem, but you know, he got through it and then Medium started taking off like crazy. Um, and everyone was super busy and then they needed to hire more, but they had the, they had the power you know, to catch up. Whereas we now are sort of falling behind because it's, it's getting a lot more used than what we expected and we need to put people behind that. So, trade-offs. Eh. All right.